DJ TV. Jonathan says terrorism is the threat to Nigeria's democracy and nationhood. I Thank you. Please be seated. Uh, uh, let me especially appreciate the representative of the military, senior officers representing the military, the police, uh, SSS, um, NIA, immigration, and others, uh, the embass ambassadors, uh, embassies that are represented here, uh, top members of the civil society, experts in security. We appreciate all of you. Uh, it is my honor to welcome you all to the public presentation of this document titled Terrorism and Banditry, the Nexus. It is the report of a research conducted by the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation, which I am the chairman. I thank all stakeholders who have joined us for today's event. I am glad that you have made the event a priority, and we are hopeful that today's conversation will translate to a change of social fortunes for our nation, especially as it relates to peace and security. This optimism is premised on the fact that seated here are major stakeholders in the security sector of our country. The report we are presenting today as a foundation is a testament of our commitment to our vision of promoting peace and prosperity in Africa. We understand that peace and prosperity cannot be realized in isolation their national aspirations that must be pursued with unity of purpose, trust, and shared faith. As a leader, I have been privileged to preside over the affairs of this country for five years. So I appreciate the challenges that come with nation building and the burden associated with pursuing peace and building trust in times of crisis. I have often said, peace is not a rain from heaven, but a product of human conduct. Peace is a manifestation of our human actions. Therefore, peace in any society is dependent on the commitment of the people to attaining it. A pursuit of peace cannot be achieved in isolation of the pursuit of justice and other human security needs. It is so because peace is the bridge that links poverty to prosperity, reconciles hope with despair, and imposes order on chaos. Nation building as a journey of many miles implies that every citizen is led with responsibilities, and our commitment to these responsibilities is what will guarantee peace and progress in our nation. There is no doubt that our nation is plagued by many crises and these challenges have continued to threaten our fate and shared destinies. We have lost our loved ones, lost millions of properties, and investment because of insecurity. The challenges posed by banditry, terrorism, and other associated crimes threatens our human ends and the essential values of our democracy and nationhood. This is why the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation considered it apt to undertake this research with a view to engage the relevant stakeholders towards an improved security. Today, we have not come to lament nor to amplify the flaws within our federation. We have not come to stretch the debates on the state of our nation. We are simply here to engage with relevant stakeholders and provide solutions and initiate actions that will solve a common problem. We have come to share thoughts on how to better manage and address the challenges of internal security that is affecting all Nigerians, irrespective of political affiliation, ethnic groups, and state of origin. 
this report we are presenting today contains some observations and recommendations on the challenges of banditry and other human security concerns in our nation. The report is by no way conclusive and complete in itself. That is why stakeholders have been invited to discuss the way forward and so that more solutions beyond those put forward in the research. And I want to reemphasize that the report may not necessarily introduce things that stakeholders here don't know. The idea is to bring stakeholders to have a good conversation, a good dialogue on the issues affecting us, and probably that will help the key actors in managing our security, the Office of the NSC, the intelligence services, the police, and the army, as, as a supporting document to them in terms of managing our situation. Our gathering here today, therefore, is a solemn conversation of trust aimed at building consensus towards attaining a new reality, which is peace and progress. I'm optimistic that the eminent personalities on the panel and other guests in the course of the panel discussion and comments will further probe into the findings of the report as we seek to prefer workable solutions towards containing the present challenges. As I conclude, let me state that the crisis facing us today requires sacrifice and urgency of actions from all stakeholders. We must therefore show commitment to peace in which, in words, in action, and in all other necessary means. Like I noticed some time ago at another forum like this, to build a peaceful nation, we must first build hope in the lives of the people. Because hope inspires love, love promotes peace, peace engenders justice, while justice guarantees freedom and trust. I thank all of you. Hey guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you. Depending on the location you're watching us from, very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update. You also share where you get the latest and the best news all around the world. If this is the first time you're seeing any of our video, do take a step further, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you could be one of the first ones to get notified each time we post a new video. Let's go straight up into the main news. Former President of Nigeria, Good luck, Jonathan says Nigerian democracy and nationhood are under threat from terrorism, adding that the pursuit of peace may not be achieved in isolation of the pursuit of justice and other human security needs. Jonathan said this at the public presentation of a research report, Terrorism and Banditry, the Nexus conducted by the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation G. JF, which was aired at Abuja. The challenges posed by banditry, terrorism, and other associated crime threaten our human essence and the essential values of our democracy and nationhood, Jonathan said. He also noted that our pursuit of peace cannot be achieved in isolation of the pursuit of justice and other human security needs. This is so because peace is a bridge that links poverty to prosperity, reconciles hope with despair, and imposes order on chaos. There is no doubt that our nation is plagued by many crises and these challenges have continued to threaten our faith and shared destiny. We have lost our loved ones, lost millions of properties and investment because of insecurity. This is why the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation considered it up to undertake this research with a view to engaging the relevant stakeholder towards an improved security. According to him, the crisis facing Nigeria requires sacrifice and urgency of actions from all stakeholders, adding, we must therefore show commitment to peace in words, in action and in all other necessary means. The report, he said, was proof of the Foundation's commitment to its vision of promoting peace and prosperity, 
adding that they thought it appropriate to undertake the research with a desire to engage relevant stakeholders for improved security. He said, as a leader, I have been privileged to preside over the affairs of this nation for five years. I appreciate the challenges that comes with nation building and the burden associated with pursuing peace and building trust in times of crisis. We have come to share thoughts on how to better manage and address the challenges of internal security that are affecting all Nigerians irrespective of political affiliation, ethnic group and state of origin. This report we are presenting today contains some observations and recommendations on the challenges of banditry and other human security concerns in our nation. The report is by no way conclusive and complete in itself. That is why stakeholders have been invited to discuss the way forward and suggest more solutions beyond those put forward in the research, Jonathan said. In a remark, the Good Lord Jonathan Foundation Executive Director, Ms. Anne Iyonu, said that the present report interrogated the trend and drivers of the crisis in the Northwest. Iyonu said that the report also interrogates the impact and implication to internal security, whether human or physical. It also profiles strategies and actions required by various stakeholders at both national and sub-national level to address the challenges of internal security, terrorism and banditry in Nigeria, she said. Iyonu also said that the militancy, violence and extremists and enrollment into gang and sect engaged with violent crime had been on the ascent within Nigeria. Overlapping security crises from kidnapping to extremist insurgencies in almost every corner of the country, threatening the nation's development and its corporate existence as a nation. As a foundation, we recognize that the existence of peace, security, stability and governance is germane in the quest for achieving sustainable development on the African continent, a look at the development pattern across the ages and the social standing of nations buttress the point that growth and development are relative to the conscious effort it makes at promoting peace and security, she noted. She also expressed her thoughts on the ongoing debate as to the ID description of what was going on in the Northwest, whether it was banditry or terrorism, as well as the appropriate policy, response and requirements. So guys, here we have it. We have seen Good Luck Jonathan, who called all critical stakeholders of um, security in Nigeria um, to a deliberation um, table um, talking about peace and security in Africa and also concerning Nigeria. Of course, um, a question was thrown by the general, um, the managing director of the Good Lord Jonathan Foundation. I'm talking about Miss Iyanu, where she said that what is going on in Nigeria is it banditry or terrorism? This is a question that we all as Nigerians need to tell ourselves or answer that um, is it banditry that is taking place in Nigeria or terrorism? Um, Good Lord Jonathan also made mention of the pursuit of peace may not be achieved in isolation of the pursuit of justice and other security need. Um, this is so clear because he said that we cannot leave the pursuit of peace at the expense of the pursuit of justice. That means two of them goes hand in hand. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning what good luck um, Jonathan, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, um, saying about the pursuit of peace in Nigeria, um, telling us that Nigeria's democracy and nationhood is being threatened by terrorism and banditry. Now the question still remains, between um, terrorism and banditry, what are the difference? Drop your comment in the comment section below. Do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Do follow us on all our social media platforms. Like us on Facebook and subscribe on our YouTube. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Until we come your way next time, do not forget this is DJ MTV Daily News Update. Thank you for watching till the end.
Full of people doesn't know they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. Some of the delegates and ask the question. DJ TV. Oh.